Hey everybody, uh, back for the next to the next to the last minute with Randy Bartlett. Uh, again, a quick commercial. I don't know how many DVDs are left at this point, but if you want the DVDs or the digital downloads, uh, great time to get them. Go to dj1percentsolution.com. Go to our specials page. Um, the discounts are phenomenal. I won't go into it all here, but um, $60 gets you everything. Uh, they used to be $90 a piece, so we used to sell that same set for $400. Uh, it's now $60. So just clearing out the inventory and getting ready to retire. I want to talk today about the mistake a lot of DJs make in sales. I'm going back to my sales roots here and trying to sell their entire price when they're in a competitive situation instead of only selling the price differential. So here's what that means. I'm just gonna use round numbers here, plug in your own numbers. Let's say your price is $3,000. And let's say that the client has only budgeted 1,500. You got a $1,500 price difference. And what DJs do is they try to sell the $3,000, right? And all the people can hear is 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. But really they've already decided to spend 1500 you only have to justify the other 1500 and i'm using pretty big numbers here what i know in reality is a lot of times it's you know your price is 1500 and they only budgeted a thousand and you really only have to justify 500 dollars, and that becomes a much easier thing to do so now when you sell and i always try to be like really upfront with our clients about you know how things Work. We're going to talk next week about, you know, sort of the customer goals, but I would talk to them about, you know, what the end result is. Too many DJs, I think, sell the process instead of the end results. Customers just hear like, blah, 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 blah. What they want to know is what's in it for me, right? So, when you're talking about this and you say, well, listen, I understand you only had budgeted $1,500 and I know that my price is more than that, but let me explain to you what you get for this extra $1,500. For $1,500 more, see, I just keep throwing out $1,500, right? Not $3,000. For $1,500 more, here's what you get. Instead of a nice wedding reception, which is you'll get for fifteen hundred instead of just a wedding reception that you enjoy, which you'll get for fifteen hundred. For the extra fifteen hundred that you spend with me, what you're going to get is a room full of guests, a hundred and fifty people who are raving about. Oh my God, I've never been to a wedding reception like this. Show your reviews, right? Show your videos. Show what that looks like, and like it's not just you know, the grand yelling of the names when they come in. Instead, it's very personalized introduction. So people get to know who they are before they've ever sat down to dinner. They've laughed, they've cheered, they've they've cried, they've, they've experienced emotions they've never had at a wedding reception before. You get all of that. And along the way, uh, you know, the, the process is going to be so easy because I'm the creator of this stuff, right? I'm, I have the creative mind. You have all the ideas. So we're going to take what you know about your clients, put them with my creativity, and we're going to create this end result. Again, I know it's only, you know, your budget was 1500 and you can get fine for 1500 And if, and if, if all you want is fine, if you just want satisfied, by all means, just spend the fifteen hundred dollars. You're not going to. It's not going to be a disaster, right? It'll be. It'll be fine. But if you want extraordinary, that's what I do. I do extraordinary. And so for fifteen hundred dollars more, here's what I'm going to do. And by the way, you, you're going to have 150 guests. It's ten dollars a person, right? That that's your appetizer cost, right? Like for that amount, people are going to go. And let's be realistic. Ten years from now, when they're still raving. They're not raving about those appetizers. They're raving about the experience they had. If they came to you as a direct referral, which I hope they are. I mean, if you're using our DVDs and and you and, and the one percent solution concepts, you definitely gonna, should be getting a lot of repeat uh, direct customers. And, and then you can say, so do you remember when you were at so and so's wedding? When you talked about how amazing it was, and, and all, yeah. 
but they didn't spend $1,500, right? They spent the extra and got me. Of all the money they spent, and just ask them, of all the money that you spent, where was your best value? And it's going to be for me. So work on just the difference. Figure out what the differential is between the average price in your market and yours. I hope you're above average. I hope you're well above average. And figure out what the price difference is. If it's a direct competitive situation, it's even easier, right? So what you get is, well, this other guy is going to only charge us $1,200 and you were going to be $1,500. Is there any way you can match his price? And like we've covered this before, you know how to handle this. Like, well, you're asking me that. Let me ask you this. If we were both the same price, would you hire me or him? And if they say, I don't know, you haven't done your job, they're not convinced. If they, But usually at that point, they wouldn't even tell you if they didn't want you. They'd say, well, I would hire you. And then you say, why? You know, what is it about us that makes you uh, want to go with us instead of him? And then let them talk. You can help them if you want, right? So well, I think you did a great job. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really know what they do. So, okay, so is that worth $300? See, I'm only selling $300. So yeah, so we are a $300 price difference. But for that $300, you know what you're going to get. You don't have to worry about, I hope I get something like that. And that's the difference. Next week, we're going to talk a little bit about how I can sometimes turn the screws on the customers a little bit not in a high pressure thing, but to make them understand what it is, what their, what their, what their risk tolerance is. So that's what we're going to do with next week. So see you all next week for the penultimate 1%, uh, one minute with Randy Bar for the 1% solutions. I can't even say it, man. I'm, I'm so retired. My mouth quit working. See you next week. 